Hi. So all of you are here. Fine. So what I'm expecting from all of you is that first, uh, if you have any kind of questions from the previous classes, you can ask. If any kind of questions you have at present from the previous classes, you are most welcome. You can first clear your doubts and then we will be moving for the other topics in that. So if you have any kind of questions, any kind of doubt in that, you can ask. Any question, any doubt in this, you can ask. Okay. Anything else, anyone? All of see, if you guys are practicing, so you must be having some doubts. You must be having many questions. If you are not practicing, so there won't be any questions from your side, okay? So if anyone is having any question, any doubt, you can ask, okay? So if, first of all, the classes, what we are continuing here in the online class, online class, especially in my class, especially in the JTC class, JTC online class, here, what we are expecting is, see, we have the different modules. Okay, okay. If that kind of questions, I'll come to each one of the questions. The number one is, first is, your class, the class which I'm taking the live class, live class I'm taking here, right? Second one is your documents, which I have given it already. You can see here. So I have, see, generally our online live class, it is a class, number one is the class which I'm taking it here. Remember one point. Second thing is your documents. Documents consist of two things. One is the workbook which contains a program for each of the topics. Each of the topics, it contains lots of programs. Lots of programs are there in the corresponding workbooks. Fine. So if you are practicing these all things and this all workbooks has been designed by keeping in the mind of OCPJP. OCPJP, Oracle Certified Professional Java Program. So if you are practicing all these things, it will take some time, right? And in that you can ask your questions as per your requirement. Third one is your notes. Notes which is contains the theory part and programs both it contains. It contains the theory part as well as some of the programs which we are doing here, right? So let's say that for, for any topic, for any topic, understand this, for any topic, Let's consider here the control statements. Let's say for the control statements. Statement. Fine. If I've given, let's say some 50 examples. If I have given overall 50 examples in your documents, so what I am doing is here, I'll be covering somewhere around five to six examples on each type of examples. So that rest of the things, rest of the things you can Practice by your own. In this, if you are getting any doubts, 
any doubts doubts you can ask in your coming class or you in your you can say the next class this is our main main schedule and main purpose of this taking class online class here my intent is never just to complete the course somewhere we are just going to complete the course nothing like that and remember that it's an online class online class so usually it will be of one hours fine but in that some days if i'm uh, taking some less class so when i am taking less class you need to understand one point here less than one hour if it is so sometimes what happens that topic which is there is completed completed right and then okay let's start from the next topic in the next class so that you guys can practice it i am considering that you guys are doing something if you are doing it you are not getting any questions you are not getting any things that's good it is again your things but yes this is what my expectations from all of you right and this is what i am going to uh, even i am expecting from you all okay fine so this is just i have given you one basic information so that this is what my thing is and what i am planning to do for you and i'll be taking here the complete things from the complete basic to and complete things so the main thing is that you have to practice a lot if you are practicing it you will get number of questions now i'm coming to your questions here something there is the get class what is the get class here and all other sort of things see get class get class is one method which i have used so generally what we are saying here in the case of array what we used to say that let's say if i am having some kind of program if i am writing some kind of program here any class you have written something called as the jdc name of the class as i am writing here so let's say here the 10 class i have written here into this now public static void main i am writing here in this i am writing something else also so like that public static word main I, I, I'm just saying one point here what point I just wanted to say first I'm saving this program by JTC 10 and then I'm just going to do something here. okay so int a is equal to I'm creating one kind of you can say array I'm saying that we are creating one kind of array. This is one array which I have created it. Fine. So particularly about this array, about this array, we are saying that what we are saying, understand that if any array in Java, any, any type of array, what we are saying about the any type of array, number one, array is object in java and the second one is array names are reference variable fine so in the further topics you will see that if any object is there and and there are some concepts of java which you haven't studied yet but yes in future it is going to come in the further classes so the point number one is for any object for for any object whatever we write here whatever we write here for any object for any object whatever we are writing any object there hash code hash code will be generated will be generated any object which is there for that hash code will be generated 
for any object the hash code which is there will be generated fine and what exactly that hash code is what exactly that hash code is hash code which is there hash code in general you understand hash code is unique unique number which will be assigned to each object each object in order to in order to identify it 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 each object for each object a unique hash code will be assigned in order to identify this object so on the basis of that hash code objects which is there are internally being identified okay if it's been internally identified by using the hash code so that's what i'm trying to check here nothing else because in the further class I see here if i'm writing in this system dot out dot print ln inside that a dot i'm writing here the hash code I have just written here so what exactly this hash code is indirectly it's a method it's a method it's a hash code is a method at present so I, I, I'll do one thing here see that what is that I'm going to do now mm, I'm writing something here and inside this now I'll be opening here e drive I'm just coming to that location and in this here I'm writing Java C and it's been something like what is that I'm writing? It's in JTC 10 I'm writing. Okay. So JTC 10 dot Java as I'm writing in this. And immediately here I'm writing JTC 10 something. So what we got here something a unique number we have got it here. It's an hash code. It's a decimal representation of the hash code. It's a decimal representation of the hash code. Now hope you are getting the point that what is the hash code and more about the hash code will come in the further program more about this will come into your further program what exactly hash code is and all fine next one inside this even if i was saying that it's a reference variable so what i did here is the system dot out dot print ln inside this i was calling one method method called as the a dot get class I, I, I was just writing one method called as a dot get class here here we are getting the a dot get class okay We'll see what is the a dot get class. It's something it is showing here. So the get class method again it will come in the further programs here. Just I have shown you, right? And uh, so, so get class method which is there is used to get the name of the class which corresponding object reference is available inside that corresponding reference variable. Okay. And hash code which is there is a unique number which will be identified to each object in order to identify that all objects uniquely. That's what the hash code and uh, this particular array is. Any other question to anyone? Okay, fine. No questions. So, we are moving to a topic called as the two-dimensional array. What is that? I'm moving for the two-dimensional array. What is the two-dimensional array in case of Java? two dimensional array or you can say that is the multi dimension y array 
it's a multi dimension array what exactly multi dimension array is and what exactly it is called array of array is is called as called as hash code sorry array of array is called as two dimensional array something like that it is array of array which is there is called as the two dimensional array well let's let's have have some kind of syntax into this say for example i am writing some kind of data type array underscore something called as the name and here this is what there are so two ways we can write it here one in this something we can write like this some kind of uh, we can write here that is the value one it's a value two or value three value okay like that we can write it here and again we can create some more things here and again if we wanted to add some more we can add it here like that here you can put it down here the value 4 value 5 and value 6 like that we can write it inside this here it's in value something called as the 7 and value 8 and value 9 we are writing all that here is the different kinds of things which we can write this is one type of array declaration in the case of two dimensional array whereas again if i am going for the dynamic array declaration so in that case here it's a data type data type array name array name is equal to i am writing new of data type and here i am writing that is the size and again that is the here is the size that's what i am writing here so two things as again i am writing here one is the two types of sizes which we are writing here in this the one i am writing like this so say for example i am writing for example i am just writing the example for the both of them what is the example for this both of them i am going to write now in this i am writing int of a is equal to I'm just declaring one one two two three three I have just written here at the same time now I'm writing four four five five and six six I have written and at the same time now seven seven eight eight and nine nine something I am writing inside this is it okay this is what and this is how we could write it like this and this is one array which is there will be created here okay if uh, i wanted to say here that array is the two dimensional array and how this is going to be represented and something like that and how this all array will be represented so generally if i'll ask you what you will say that it is uh, it will be represented somewhere in the form of uh, row and row and something colon you'll say this that this all these all things are going to be represented in the form of row and column exactly. okay now what next i'm saying is that okay let's come out of that concept called as row and column concepts i'll just open the paint and the same thing what i wanted to represent in it's already i have given in your documents also let's see here first thing is decide it here that how many total number of arrays are available see here if we will say uh, in the previous one previous example if we'll see in this if i'm writing here so one two and three right so here we are just writing how many total number of c there is one array here right array of array i, I have created here the one array and next one is this is also one array i have created here right it is this is one array i have created fine now so the very first one which i am saying here and which i am talking about is here is the something called as the number of array 
what I am writing here. Number of array I am going to write it inside. This it's a number of array. This one three what I have written here. So if somewhere we will try to represent its index positions, so I'll write it here zero with next one and next is the it's in second one. So zero one two something we have written inside this. These all are the different kinds of number of arrays we have created it here. This is the number of array which we have created here. Is it okay? Okay, well, these all are the number of arrays which I am creating. Inside this case now, see here, array of array as I told you, it's an array of array. So see that. Here, what I am doing again in this, that how many total number of elements are available inside this? In one, three. It is there, here is the three elements. So here, as I just wanted to write here in this first, that if I'll write it inside this, I'm writing, let's say, something called as the 1-1 one, one I'm writing, okay. 1-1 one, one I'm writing, second one I'm writing, that is the 2-2 two, two, and again inside this, that is the 3-3 three, three I'm writing inside this. Is it okay? This is somewhere or the some type of array which I am creating, I'm trying to create it here. Done? Now this array, I am writing here something. Here yeah, this is the array which I have created here. Done? Now this particular array, the this array which is there, this reference which is there will be stored inside this one. So array is the array of array. So this reference, this particular array reference here, this array reference will be stored here. Understand this point. This array reference which is there will be stored here. Again at the same time one more array I am writing here. This is also one array I have written inside this. And in this particular type of array when I am writing something inside this. So what do I need to write inside this case is. I am writing here something. Here also I am writing something. Fine. So this array reference which is there will be stored inside this one here, this position, okay. This array position will be stored and at the same time one more array which I am creating here, this particular array reference which is there will be stored inside this one here. This is the positions or the different different things which is there here will be stored inside this, right. And the finally here, if you are writing something AA, so AA is what? It's a reference variable. So what you have to do is in this, this AA, AA which is there, uh, the variable which I'm taking here is the AA is the name of this reference variable you can say. And that is going to take how much memory it is going to take. Something called as the, see here, AA is the reference variable name which allocates around 8 bytes of memory. See, remember one point if I am saying that 8 bytes of memory, so the memory which is there of 8 bytes is not going to be allocated for the complete array. I am saying that this array and see here again. So the memory which is being allocated for this only reference variable AA, not for the all others. Now in this one only this reference which is there will be stored inside this one. This particular array, this one, the first array which is there, this reference which is there will be stored inside that array. Here that references which is there will be stored. So let's say it is going to be let's say 1024 something I wanted to write here. So maybe that reference has been stored and here it's pointing to that particular position. Maybe it's in 1024 something it is pointing here. So we can write it here something like that. It's an 1024 I am writing here. Fine. 1024 something I have written inside this. This is the 1024 maybe. And the like the wise whatever these arrays which has been created for all of these references will be stored inside the 0th position, first position and all other positions in these cases here. Right. So for all these positions here we have the different types of uh, uh, different types of references here and that is going to be stored inside this array. So this is how the two dimensional array is working into that case. Is that clear? This diagram, is it clear? 
even is there available in your notes also which I already have given so if any questions any doubts you have you can ask okay now so I am writing I am writing here what is that I am writing a is just a reference variable here a a whatever we are writing here is just an reference variable here nothing else so for this reference variable 8 bytes of memory which is there will be allocated 8 bytes of memory which is there will be allocated into that case nothing else let's say i am writing a class and inside this class i am writing the 11 into this case here public static void main inside this now string of i am writing here called as the arg i am writing inside this well i have written it a string of arg is something i am writing into this case okay next inside this i am just writing some very few examples as i am writing here which you can understand it int inside this case now i am writing let's say 2 by 2 array which i am creating here okay so in that 0 I am assigning this element 0 and 0 is equal to 111. Let's say I am writing a of 0. And in that a of 1 is equal to something called as the 2, 2 I am writing. And again that is the a of 1. And what next I am going to have is the 0 is equal to 333 I am writing. And a of again I am writing 1 similar kind of 1 is equal to something called as the 4, 4 as I have written here. These all are the different types of. Uh, sessions which I am writing inside this is it okay now again here if I have created this short of array here and I, as I am trying to access all these elements so int i is equal to 0 I am writing i is less than i is less than something called as the uh, whatever is the a of i dot or, or, or I am just writing a dot length I am writing and i plus plus I have written here this is one array I am trying to write here next again inside this here I am just trying to access for loop here int something called as the j is equal to 0 j is less than a of i dot length and and here that is the j plus plus I am writing inside this this is the particular one which I wanted to write it inside this and how we just wanted to proceed it inside this case. Okay. So here I just wanted to write a of i comma which one now called as the j I am writing here in this. A of i comma something called as the j I am writing inside this. Okay. So a which is there j which is there here j is less than j is less than a of i dot length something I am writing here. Okay. So I am saving this program by the jtc11 dot something called as the java I am writing and we will be further proceeding it. See I am accessing this loop here. Let's make it 11 and inside this now jtc11 I am writing here we got that values. We got the value simple 2 by 2 array which I have created it's a very simple one okay. Here I am just writing some more things into this and well inside this case what I just wanted to check it out is let's say I am writing I am writing something here see what's that I am writing inside this. I am creating one more array. Let's say I am creating one more array. A of this one is equal to inside this say 112233. Something I have, I have created like this. One I am creating in that 4455 and in the last one I am creating here the 66. Now I, I am just trying to explain you the meaning of what exactly this A1 array is. See, 
previously what we have created the array which is there the name of that array name of the array which was available here it was something like it was something like 2 by 2 which means that that each of the row size here if i'll explain you with the help of this corresponding diagram you will understand in a better manner that this particular this particular whatever the arrays lengths you have these all are same same there is no changes at all now but what next i wanted to create some kind of array what i want to create some kind of array is that okay maybe the length of these all variable arrays which could be might be variable in the different forms okay so let's see here whether this all array which is there is going to be the variable in the length or not let's say what i'm doing here in this first if i am just writing something here if i am just writing here so see here what i'm doing here this is one array this is something called as the one array i have created exactly we are we are looking like this itself and the third one is here i am writing this kind of particular array and here also i have just removed this point from here so this is one array i have created here and inside this what do we have is the like this kind of array we have we need now this kind of array i hope you are understanding my points okay this is the kind of array means the array which i have written here is 3 2 and one it's three two and one this is what i am writing here this is what uh, as i'm just trying to get it inside this right so this is the three two one which i'm trying to write it inside this cases and hope you are getting it next inside this okay i wanted to access it so whenever as i just wanted to access it here i'm writing int and see well can we access it in the form of enhanced for loop well so let's try it here i am writing something called as the i is equal to i colon or something i which is there is equal to, or, or write it like this itself i is equal to zero i is equal to zero i is less than a1 dot length again i am writing and i plus plus i am writing and here inside this int of j is equal to 0 j is less than a1 of i dot length a1 of i dot length and then here i am writing j plus plus i am going to write it inside this is it okay here this is what i have done into this case This is what I have I am doing in this case. Okay. When I am writing something, I am writing a1 of i comma something called as the j. I am just going to do here something. And inside this now I am I, I am trying to write it here. You see the array, this example you see. Okay, well, you do one thing. You make it one more system dot out dot print ln something called as the print ln i have written in this format so let's have something called as the n into this form okay and if i am writing something like this you see the what output i am getting here i have created here the three it's a two and one okay a question here is not about that getting the array or something size of this array and uh, variable length. The question I have is the different one. What is the different questions as I am having is and very very important interview questions you can say. It's a important interview question it's an important interview question here we are just going to write it inside this case okay in this important interview questions what do i wanted to write here is what exactly i wanted to write it for this understand here now i'm writing here something inside this now i am trying to write something 
I am trying to write something here. In this particular one, inside this here first, I am writing int of A2, A2. is equal to new of int and here only I am giving three and second one I am not providing which means that what is the meaning of this one what is the meaning of this particular one whatever I have written here the meaning of this particular one is that that I am defining the I am defining the this one this only this particular length of this array I am providing here this array length I have given but at present I have not given the length of this array here the length of these each array i have not given only i have declared the number of arrays what i want in that okay so next one here i must have to write here a2 of 0 is equal to new of int something called as the 3 i am writing here i am writing inside this case that is the 3 here into that case now a2 is equal to I am writing called as the 0 and 0, I am writing here that is the A2 of 0 and 0 is equal to 101 I have written. A2 of something called as the 0 and 1 is equal to 202 I am writing. Fine it is. So see, and A2 of 0 and 2 I am going to write is the 303 I am writing. Here, when the next things which I am writing inside this, I am writing that is the 1 and inside this that is the, okay. So, first array length I have given here. This is the first position length I have given here. The second one I am just writing the new of int. In this case, here the, initially there was the, 3 I have written so here I am writing the 2 and a2 of 0 and sorry it's a 1 and 0 I am writing is equal to here 1 2 3 I have written inside this a2 of 1 comma 1 is equal to 2 3 4 something I am writing inside this okay here to, only these two I can write it inside this because the length of that particular array is how much it is to itself well a2 of I am writing 2 is equal to new of int here I am writing that is the one I am writing inside this I am writing the one well inside this now a2 of 0 comma which is the sorry it's a 2 by 0 I am defining and here is equal to 0 is equal to I am writing something is equal to something called as the 999 I am writing inside this here now I am writing some again for loop here so whatever the existing for loops which we have here I will just do one thing I will copy it from here I'll just as it is I'll take it down and now I am pasting it inside this here I'm writing a2 here I'm writing a2 and here also I'm writing that is the a2 a2 I'm writing inside this and whenever you are writing the a2 Inside this now, I am writing Java C something or Java something JTC 11. I am writing inside this, and this is what you have got. Did you got my point? What is that? So, sometimes they will be asking that can you create an array which is length, um, variable in length and all something like that? So, can you create the array like this? Yes, this is how we can create the array, and this is how it is going to work in that case. If any questions from the two dimensional array, you can ask. Any sort of questions you wanted to ask, you can ask it from the two-dimensional array. Any questions if you are expecting?
you can ask any questions from the two dimensional array well the next one is anyone is having any kind of questions any doubt in this you can ask okay so if your array is completed so what we have done is no, you cannot write, you cannot write like that. What is asking that suppose int of a11 is equal to, can I write new of int and inside that three we can write it here like that. See, it, try to understand one point here that can you create one array something like here, can you create one array without this, without this one, can you create this arrays? I'm asking no you cannot create this array you cannot write like this no it is not allowed you cannot write it inside this any other questions if you have any questions you can we cannot no not allowed here I'm writing not okay I'm writing here any other question to anyone Okay. Now starting with the oops concept. Oops concept here. Understand that. We have now first. What all the different oops concepts we are having? Oops concepts we are going to discuss. We are starting now. We have already now till now completed the completed the basics. Here, what we have done is completed the basics. Here, basics almost we have completed. Uh, second one is now I am going to move in the oops concept. Oops. Concepts. Okay. So see what is the oops concept. First of all, what is oops? So it's object oriented. Oriented. Programming. Programming something I am writing. It's an object oriented programming we are writing here. Okay. This is the oops concept. We will write here this is the oops concept. So before understanding or before starting the oops concept, we will understand here the class and a topic called as the object. What is the class and what is the object? At present, if I am taking first class, till now, you are using the class a number of times you have used it. You have created n number of class like hello. You have created a class called as class high n number of classes you have created am i right now see in beginning itself we have seen what in beginning we have seen in beginning what we have seen is the note i am writing here note in this in this what i am trying to write here is that in this i am writing something in this that class class is the class is the user defined user defined data type is the user defined data type whatever the classes which you are having is the user defined data type we have the class which we are writing is the user defined data type is it okay the class whatever the class as i'm writing here is the user defined data type this class i'm writing here is the user defined data type fine so how do we define a class how do we define a class first is a class keyword you must have to write name of the class you are writing i'm not going for the access modifier and all sort of things at present i'm taking it in a very simple here hello is the name of your class hello is the name of your class who has decided the name of your class hello 
you have decided the name of the class is the hello that's why and inside this we can write first variables second one blocks third one methods methods fourth one constructor fifth one now inner class sixth one enum like that some more things we can write here inside this i'm not going about all that but okay before writing all these things inside the class we'll be discussing each one of the member what is this member is how it is going to work and all other sort of things so in this case the very very important thing at present we will be discussing is here that if i am writing hello h1 is equal to new hello this is the object we have created what i have done this particular line is of object creation we have created that particularly this object is the object creation line of object creation line of object creation with this particular line object will be created into this case okay now when I'm saying this if for this particular line object will be created so what exactly h1 is h1 h1 what is the h1 h1 is the something called as the reference variable h1 I'm writing is the reference variable what is does which is used to store the class object reference class object reference i'm not saying remember one point again not class object i'm not saying class object i'm saying class object reference i'm saying i'm saying class object reference here i'm not saying the class object it's a class object reference i'm saying here right so here the one which i'm writing is, is is used to store and now new of hello which you have written here if new which you are writing new is the operator I am writing new is the operator which I am writing fine and new is the operator which is used to allocate memory this is the operator which is used to allocate the some memory where in heap memory in heap memory okay so it is used to allocate the memory inside the heap so we will see again the many other things related to that what is the hello h1 is equal to new hello and all other sort of things here we will be discussing it okay so for today i'll just finish it up now only and if any questions you have you can ask and tomorrow we will continue in the further things if any questions anyone is having you can ask hope so you don't have any questions thank you thanks a lot